one of the, the projects that you're working on at the moment is, in fact, it ties towards uh, what you said at the end of your speech, which is, um, if I'm not mistaken, an organisation which looks after the Constitution, which monitors it. And you mentioned threats to the Constitution that um, are currently posed in South Africa. Could you elaborate a bit about what those threats are and what your organisation does? Well, firstly, uh, I hire three lawyers full time. And apart from writing articles and stimulating debate about the Constitution and publishing things, their task is to check all new legislation for its constitutionality. Because the ANC government and parliamentarians are clever enough, they don't try to change the Constitution, but they come with ordinary legislation, which if accepted, will actually have the effect of quietly, under the table, under the radar, amending the Constitution. So we check that out. And when we find it, and we find it quite regularly, we start a public debate about it. We even go to court if it's necessary, or join court cases as amicus curiae. And our task is to see that it is not amended. Let me give you a few examples. There's a clause in the Constitution protecting private property ownership, saying that yes, there can be, uh, the government can take land, expropriate land for public purposes, uh, but there should be reasonable compensation, and if no agreement is reached about the compensation, the courts will decide what is a reasonable compensation. The ANC has come twice with legislation, ordinary legislation, not amending that clause, but with, which would uh, limit the role of the courts to mere review and not to having the final say. A serious effort at quietly amending the Constitution. And there are many other examples. 